Today in our 2016 Nissan Versa Note, we're doing a test fit of the Thule Passage Trunk Mount 2 Bike Rack. That part number is TH910XT. Now we already have our bike on our rack. We're first going to show you how we secure that down and then we'll go over some features. So we have two cradles total with three straps, two on our frame, and then one as our anti-sway strap in the back. We're going to start by pulling down and lifting up to release those. And then we'll pull our bike straight off of our rack and set it off to the side. And then with our bike out of the way, I always suggest that you replace your straps so you don't lose or damage them. And now we'll take a couple of measurements. So our first one's going to be the overall distance we're adding to our vehicle with our arms hanging out, adding about 19 and 3 quarter inches. Now we can come up here to our two silver pieces. We're going to pinch those in. We're just going to shake that arm back and forth until it rotates down. And we'll do the same thing on this side. So this is going to be great for close quarters parking. And now we're only adding about 10 and a quarter inches to our vehicle. Now how our rack is actually secured down, we have six straps all together, two up over the top portion of our hatch, two at our sides, right where our tail lights are, and then two at the bottom there that will reach up under our hatch. Our bike rack also comes equipped with rubber cushions or foam cushions up at the top and the bottom to prevent any scratches and abrasions of your from your bike rack to your vehicle. Another thing to note is that you will not be able to use that rear wiper blade while our bike rack is on our car. And then we also have our fit guide dial here. So we have it set to nine, excuse me, 10 as per our instructions, but you wanna make sure and double check with your instructions that that is the same fit guide dial number. So that's gonna be our completed look at the Thule Passage Trunk Mount 2 Bike Rack, part number TH910XT, on our 2016 Nissan Versa Note. And now let's see how it does on our test course. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway.